Perfection. It is to be absolutely free of any fault and defect. It is unattainable, and yet, these past three decades, we've seen an immense surge in perfectionist tendencies. The line between self-esteem and being good at your craft has blurred for many adults and youths alike. Does this mean that productivity has risen parallelly? No. In fact, increases in perfectionistic tendencies results in higher procrastination and lower mental health. I am a perfectionist, and I must tell you, it is not a desirable trait. Every perfectionist set, uh, sets impossible standards for themselves and attempt to achieve them. However, every impossible standard has the same fate, failure. Every perfectionist's worst fear. But before we delve into this fear, I must explain what perfectionism is and the different types of perfectionists. Perfectionism is not a behavior. It's a way of thinking. It's that little voice in everybody's head that makes every mistake seem much worse than it truly is. And according to the multidimensional perfectionism scale, there exists three kinds of perfectionists, self-oriented, other-oriented, and socially prescribed. Self-oriented is the irrational need to be perfect at everything we do. Other-oriented is to set high standards for those around you. And socially prescribed perfectionism is when the social situation calls for perfectionism. I fall into the self uh, into the self-oriented category. I set impossible standards for myself and attempt to achieve them. Every perfectionist has a common factor. We derive our sense of achievement and validation from our surroundings and others. This leads to our self-esteem falling at every little failure. I used to set extremely high standards academic-wise and failing at them. And this used to send my mental health down because every little failure used to be a, be a failure of myself and not at studies. However, every problem has a solution. Thomas Curran and Andrew Hill, whose study brought much light upon these perfectionism tendencies, have come up with a four-step guide of overcoming perfectionism. The first step is to redefine your goals. Understand what it is you're doing this for. Is it for a perfect being or to be good at your craft? The second step is to practice self-love. As I said before, perfectionism, it is not a behavior. It is a way of thinking of yourself. Self-love helps you overcome such thoughts. The third step is to understand that failure does not define you. Failure helps us understand where we went wrong. We must learn from failure, but we mustn't let it rule over our minds and lives. The fourth and final step is to understand that perfect is not better than done. Whatever you create and put out into the world, it'll have its little imperfections, but that's completely fine. Nothing in this world can truly be perfect. And therefore, my final message, don't let perfectionism come in between you being the best version of yourself.